This toothy face is finally on fire! Hello guys, it's Dr. Aeronautics. Today we're going to be looking at the Equivalent Exchange 3 mod. If any of you guys remember Equivalent Exchange 2 from TechIt, this is the continuation of that mod, but let me tell you, it's so different, it's like the mod never even existed. This is probably one of two recognizable items in the mod, uh, the alchemical chest. And we have the alchemical bag, and this is a philosopher's stone. So those are those are the original things from it. But anyway, I'm going to show you guys how to get it. So the link for this site will be in the description. Make sure you follow the requirements. This will be for one, Minecraft 1.5.2. Uh, so you want to get this forge or higher first, and then you install that forge and you can use my tutorial that I have on installing Forge. And then when that's done, you hit the universal download. And then download it. And then once it's downloaded, you get a dot jar. And now what you do is go into your Minecraft directory, so percent app data percent open dot minecraft and now you have this mods folder and here's ee3 universal pre 1h16 drag and drop and as you can see into this folder and as you can see here's another ee3 now this is 1g for 1.5.1 so this is the version that i have installed all you have to do is drop it into that file. Okay, so now you open up Minecraft. And I'm going to show you what the mod does now. Now, most of this stuff isn't craftable, as I understand from some of the wikis. Um, I haven't seen a really good actual engineered wiki from straight from the developer. It's mo mainly associated with mod packs and stuff. But... Um, Basically, the way this starts is, the first thing you're going to want to do is get these ingredients together. One gold, four iron, eight shards of minium, which drop from hostile mobs every once in a while. It's a rare drop. And four stone. And those are the ingredients that you need to craft an inert stone. So we go to the crafting table, and this is the recipe for the inert stone and then you get the inert stone in the center you take the eight shards of minium and then you craft the minium stone or minium whatever it is and this is a lot different than the old EE2 the old EE2 version would allow you at this point to craft an alchemical chest and to pump stuff in and out in energy condensers which are handy but unfortunately that luxury doesn't exist anymore so we can get some basic items and I believe I remember slightly how it works but there's not very many crafting recipes if it's all of a sudden I need a vanilla vanilla item like for example you need if you need leather, which I need lots of leather to craft my airplanes with, that is not compatible. So this works a lot like a philosopher's stone. We're going to put four of these guys in. Maybe it doesn't. Okay. But you can, you can translate it into cobblestone, into grass, into sand, into dirt, and then back into cobblestone. So that helps. But I don't think you can use stone, and I actually think that's why that didn't work so let's make two more cobblestone and you can already see this is very tedious you would not there we go there's a flint you would not want to be doing this when you're taking old stuff from quarries and you're looking to make it better I wouldn't recommend that 
so you can make flint. Uh, let me see if maybe planks or something. Okay, so apparently two wood is an obsidian. So this will help a lot when you're trying to do obsidian mining. Okay, so let's go ahead and make some planks and see if we can make anything with the planks. Of course. So with this, you can go back to wood as well. And this is what I would mainly use them on for, and that is the, the leveling up of resource items. Actually, I think I remember that coal doesn't work, but I'm not 100% sure on that. Maybe I'll be able to check that. So, one iron is four clay, and four iron is an ender pearl. And four ender pearls is nothing. As I said, the crafting recipes for these are really rare. I found them one time and then I lost the URL. Okay, so there we go. Eight iron is a gold. I think that's rather, uh, rather extreme. In the old version, I believe it was two iron for the gold, but not 100% sure. Okay. So... There we go. Four gold is a diamond. Not that bad. But if you're like me, who can never find diamonds, you can use the stone to craft a whole bunch of smaller items into a better item. So that is the minium stone. As you, as you can see, it has a durability here. The other items in the game are these ashes and dusts, which I'm not exactly sure what they do. Uh, all of the wikis that I've seen have just mentioned them, but it doesn't explain what they do. The Philosopher's Stone is not craftable anymore, but what it can do, only in creative mode or, or other cheating, is change the items that are in front of you. And these are only low key items, like sand, dirt, cobblestone, things that used to be worth only one EMC. So if I click the sand, it will become dirt, and it seems to be very irritated now. Now I'm going to go over to the grass and turn it into dirt as well. So I'm not exactly sure how to work this thing. And uh, pressing V increases the charge area. You can see this is about as big of an area as you can get. I don't want to ruin the desert, so I'm not going to try it. But I don't think it's worth learning the crafting recipes just yet um, for that because it is not craftable, so it's not as useful. Also, the alchemical bag is not craftable either, and uh, as we go into it, you can see it is a heck of a lot smaller than the old alchemical bag, which is maybe eight times as large. And then there's two other items over here, an aludel and a calcinator. Not sure exactly what they do, but I have a hunch that you put dusts in here and it'll make other ashes or other items that will be used in the future. I don't know if these are buildcraft compatible, but we can try them out when we do our buildcraft mod. So that just about completes Equivalent Exchange 3. I hope you guys like that. And um, unfortunately, I'll be gone for a week without internet access, so it'll be a good week before the next mod is made and uh, meanwhile you can check out MC Airsoft 14's mod spotlight on Galactic Craft which is a mod spotlight that I'm going to be doing later and uh, my survival world series will be centered on Galactic Craft because I'm a space kind of guy so these are some, some bits here, launch pad, and uh, this is from the moon. So if you like space, if you like rockets and stuff, check it out. The link will be in the description, and um, I guess that's pretty much it. So I will see you guys in a week. Bye.